So I want to ask you a question. How do you think the 1992 Dream Team would do versus the AMC Dark Pool? Who would win? Hi, I'm Russell, and uh, this is a video for my fellow AMC investors out there. And I know it's been a tough time to, to invest and hold AMC stock. And one of the things that I hate is the dark pool. I hate seeing the percentage of AMC that goes through the dark pool because I believe that's robbing us of buying pressure. And, you know, a way to visualize that is, you know, what about the dream team? This is, you know, one of the greatest, not just basketball teams ever put together, but sporting teams put together. How would they do versus the challenges that we're facing? Um, so this is the AMC. It, it closed at, uh, I think, $5.31. Um, and this is from December 16th, 2022. But what I want to look at is this um, off exchange. That's the dark pool. Off exchange means not like on the stock exchange or NASDAQ or anything like that. Um, and the off exchange for that day, uh, December 16th, 2022, was 51.7%. So about 52%. Now you may think, well, maybe that was a bad day. Is that typical? So we're going to look over here at the 30 day average uh, for off exchange. And it's actually about, uh, you know, it's 54.89. So we're going to say, um, we're going to average that out to 55% on the 30 day average is going through the dark pool. And I feel like that's over half the buying pressure of AMC is taken away when it goes through this dark pool. Now, listen, I'm a smooth brain ape. I don't know much about the market or anything like that. But this is just what I, since I've been in the play for about a year and a half, this is what I picked up, is the dark pools were created for these huge financial institutions so they could buy or sell large amounts of stock in the millions and it wouldn't freak out the regular, the lit exchange, the regular exchange, the open market. Um, and they would take care of this quietly, sort of in a back room. And that way the first time, the first share of stock they buy doesn't go up so dramatically or decrease so astronomically because of you know their their huge buy so they do this in the dark pool it the dark pool from what i understand was not created um to you know for someone buying 10 shares of amc that does not need to go through the dark pool but what these companies are doing is they're taking you know my 10 shares of amc and then you know who knows a thousand five thousand other people's you know buy and sell orders of amc and they put that through the dark pool especially the buy orders and taking away this buying pressure. So how would this do if you had the 1992 Dream Team? These are, you know, Hall of Famers, legendary players, some of the best players to ever play the game were on this team. And how would they do if they were, you know, had to go up against the AMC Dark Pool? So, you know, in case you don't know, I mean, this team was led by Larry Bird, Michael Jordan, Magic Johnson. And like I said, the rest of the bench was filled out with, you know, Hall of Famers, okay? Now, in the 1992 Olympics, they won the gold medal and they won eight games. They went eight and oh. But how would they do against the dark pool? So in those eight games that they won, the USA scored on average 117 points. And then the rest of the world, the rest of the teams they played against scored on average 74 points. So the USA was winning by an average of 43 points each game. Well, the dark pools take away, remember, take away 55% of, you know, the buying pressure, 55% of scoring for USA. So 55% of the points went away for the USA. Well, now the USA's average is 53 points a game and the rest of the world is 74. So <laughs> the USA loses these games by 21 points. They don't just lose, they get beat handedly. So for anybody saying, Rush, you don't understand how dark pools work. They don't matter. They don't impact it like you're thinking. Okay, that's great. Explain it in the comments. But if dark pools don't matter, then why do they use them? If, if it doesn't matter, why is this going on? So stop trading AMC in the dark pools. Prove me wrong. You know, do it for a month. Let's ban dark pool trading. I know it, they won't. But, you know, ban dark pool trading for a month and there's no, you know, dark pool trading on AMC and we'll see what the price does. Until that happens, don't tell me that dark pools don't matter or that's not the way it works. I don't believe it. Dark pools were not made for retail investors. They were made for huge financial institutions buying and selling millions of shares of stock. So I know this has been a stressful time if you're an AMC holder. Um, and all I would say is, you know, we were not wrong. We saw this play, we got in for the reasons we did. And then of course the price went down. 
but it wasn't that we were wrong. We were robbed. They used, you know, these dark pools, which abuse the dark pools. They use spoofing. They use naked shorting. Everything they can to bring this stock price down. But a lot of us were still there. So, you know, end dark pool abuse and these other abuses. I wish the SEC would do something. I don't think they are. I wish they would, but it's been a long time and they haven't really done anything to protect retail investors. They just let this go on and on and on, and which is unfortunate. And think about this, you know, if it could stop, you know, the dream team from, you know, winning games, uh, you know, uh, yeah, there's no question that our stock has gone down. I hope things change, but I just want to show you what we're up against and what we've put up with and whether you want to applaud us or not, but that's the tough, the tough competition uh, that we're up against. Um, to me, it feels a lot like cheating and abuse and doing things the wrong way. But, you know, until somebody does something, you know, we have to put up with it. I just hope at some point something breaks, something snaps, and, um, you know, we'll, we'll come out of this and we'll have our run. But that was, that's what we're up against. The, you know, if the Dream Team, the greatest assembly of athletes ever, they would have had their issues with the dark pool that we face. Well, anyway, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Leave a comment. I always like seeing the comments um, and I appreciate them. I try to respond to everybody um, if I can, but especially if you could subscribe, I really would appreciate that as well. So thanks for watching and uh, look for more videos. Thanks.